more news stories. 619 is the time right now. A group of veterans in Lorain County are remember remembering their fallen comrades. This Veterans Day weekend, they're taking a trip. And the E-Team's community reporter, Lauren Wilson, was there as they hit the road. Good morning, guys. Yeah, the group of more than 50 AMVETs from Vermilion are on their annual trip to Washington, D.C. And there's one passenger with a story that makes everyone stop and listen. We were interrogated two or three times a day. Reliving the horrors. We then were taken uh, to a ancient dungeon about two stories below ground. As the room sits at quiet attention. Of the ten guys that I flew with, I'm the only one still standing. Jim Prusa recounts his story taken prisoner of war by the Germans after a plane crash during World War II. I really enjoy listening to and hearing the stories of what they went through um, from that standpoint. Thank you for everything. You're quite welcome. The 94-year-old vet is the only survivor from his small group at that time. Making this trip to Washington, D.C. all the more memorable as he'll be placing a wreath at the World War II monument on our National Mall. It can be a little emotional because you remember all your old buddies that are no longer with us. Other than that, just an honor to do it. But that's not the only thing making this trip special. On Sunday, the 12th, he's celebrating his 95th birthday. That's right. Gotta love that. Jim is turning 95 years old. During the trip, the group will be placing Reese on the Vietnam and World War II monuments while in D.C. They've been doing this trip since the late 90s, and it's a special one for Jim. For the E-Team, I'm Lauren Wilson. Special indeed, and 95 years young. Thank you, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Up next.